to say, raise your hand if you have a website. <laughs> that would be pretty much everybody. Raise your hand if you use email. Raise your hand if you have teenagers that are in their room pretending like they're playing games when in fact they are learning how to hack your company's security system because that's what's happening. I can tell you that uh, there's uh, a lot more happening in the cybersecurity world than the bad guys from North Korea or the bad guys from China trying to get your intellectual property. Um, so I'm going to make my presentation uh, relatively short uh, and give you a little bit of background on uh, why I'm here today. The CIO Strategy Council is the federal agency that is charged with the responsibility of developing cybersecurity protocols for Canada. Canada is now the first country in the world to formally adopt a set of cybersecurity standards known as CAN CIOSC 104 compliance. So it's a set of 55 controls that companies, big and small, are encouraged to adopt to keep the bad guys out. It's as simple as that. Now, you'll find out as we go through the presentation that uh, CyberCatch, our company based out of Vancouver, is uniquely positioned to help every Canadian business, small, large, across the country, become compliant with these federal standards. So during this uh, very short presentation, you're going to discover that it's a very quick solution. It is a cloud-based, software-as-a-service solution that literally takes a cell phone and an email account to be able to implement these controls to keep the bad guys out. I'm going to ask four questions as we go along, and these are just rhetorical questions, encouraging you to think about them uh, as I go through the information here uh, today. Across Canada and the United States, cybersecurity is a $600 billion problem. If you add up the loss of intellectual property, if you consider the damage that is done to small, large, and extra large, if you will, sized businesses because of cyber attacks, it is absolutely staggering. But the root cause is data thefts and ransomware. And those are largely happening because of missing or ineffective controls. And attackers are easily finding security holes and they're exploiting them. Why are they easily doing it? Well, first of all, they've got time and they've got resources. There are hundreds of videos, probably thousands of videos online that show you how to hack. There are resources online that can sh give you the tools on how to hack a website, how to hack a server. So it's more and more important, and especially given what's happening in the Ukraine uh, with Russia today, to be very vigilant when it comes to cybersecurity. So on a scale of 1 to 10, rhetorical question, how confident are you that the bad guys are not already inside your computer network? There are studies that indicate that it can take weeks, and in some cases, uh, over 200 days to discover that the bad guys are in your computer system. They're looking for information, and they're looking for data. They're looking for intellectual property. Small and medium-sized businesses, the impact is pretty dramatic, and I can give an example right here in Timmins, Ontario, a conversation that I had with a contractor who deals with a very large lumber company uh, in our area. They have a small staff of about uh, 18 drivers, heavy equipment operators. They build roads for forest companies. Bad guys were in their computer system. They were analyzing invoice payment, invoice payment, invoice payment. So they saw a pattern. They said, okay, we're going to go after that next payment. So what they did was they spoofed or they duplicated an email address that made it look like it was coming from accounts payable from that particular contractor, they received it, and all it said was, please submit the next invoice payment to this bank account. We've switched bank accounts. Thank you. Have a great day. At the very last minute, literally seconds before that account's payable person was about to send that $93,000 payment, they picked up the phone and they talked to the bookkeeper, who happens to be the wife of this particular business owner, and they said, hey, Julie, it's 
Donna, over at XYZ Company, we're about to send you that $93,000 payment. Have you guys really switched bank accounts lately? And they freaked out. They said, uh, no, we didn't. We didn't switch bank accounts. So they literally caught it at the last second. And that invoice was for $93,000. So imagine the dilemma of both the vendor and the supplier trying to work that out and who's at fault. Well, legally, the company that allowed their system to be breached is the company that's going to be at fault. So that vendor would have lost out on $93,000 and their supplier, their company that they, their, their client rather, that would have paid them um, legally, they are in the clear. They made the payment sucks to be you because you guys didn't have good enough cybersecurity controls. Our company, CyberCatch, is uniquely positioned uh, in this space to be able to provide solutions for a whole bunch of reasons, uh, which I'll get into here shortly. Uh, we actually have technology where we can do what's called a white hat scan of literally thousands upon, in fact, tens of thousands of websites around the world, small and medium-sized businesses. And what's staggering in Canada is that four out of five businesses in Canada, that includes accountants, it includes lawyers, it includes large businesses, small businesses, are actually vulnerable. Second rhetorical question is this, when was the last time you actually conducted a comprehensive assessment of your cybersecurity vulnerabilities? Most companies, they just shrug their shoulders. They really haven't done it. They don't know what their vulnerabilities are. The cyber catch, can CIOSC 104 Compliance Manager, which I will henceforth refer to as CC 104 because that's too big of a mouthful, actually provides your enterprise with continuous assessment. So unlike somebody that comes in and does an audit of your cybersecurity, what we do is we give you 24 hours a day cybersecurity penetration testing. It actually tests your system 365 days of the year. It's a patented system, a uh, U.S. patent, that uh, is now applicable, of course, uh, in, in many different jurisdictions. And we're the only company in Canada that is actually licensed by the CIO Strategy Council to declare your business as being compliant with these new federal standards. Interestingly, we also hired another company, a third-party company, to survey businesses across Canada and the United States to, and asked them several questions, one of which was, how long do you think you'd survive if you had a crippling cyber attack? And most businesses, three to seven days. That's all they could survive, if, and, and probably less if the bad guys got your bank account and emptied it out. So it's pretty frightening stuff. Now, the federal government in Canada actually wants every business and public institution across the country to be protected from cyber attacks. So, how can you become compliant? Well, it is called the CAN, obviously for Canadian, CIO, which is the CIO Strategy Council, 104 Compliance Regulations and Standards. And you'll see here from this slide, for those of you that are watching, that uh, with cyber attacks on the rise, this new solution will support ISED, now that's the Federal Ministry of Industry, Science, and Economic Development. Federal government ministers saying that we need, as a country, to implement these standards. And it's not just big companies like fintechs and banks that need to do it. It's every small supplier. So they've actually put money aside to do that within the federal government, and there are funding agencies across the country as well that will actually help small and medium-sized businesses offset the cost of implementing these kinds of controls. And the Honorable Minister, Federal Minister, Francois-Philippe Champagne, uh, is the minister that is uh, in charge of this particular effort. So these new standards were actually implemented last November and published last November. In March of this year, the CIO Strategy Council issued a joint news release in partnership with CyberCatch. And that news release uh, outlined the fact that CyberCatch is the only company in Canada at the moment that is actually authorized to 
declare a small or medium-sized business as being compliant with the new federal standards. Another rhetorical question I'd like to ask is this. Since the release of those standards in November of last year, have you had an opportunity to determine if your company or your organization is compliant? And I'll guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of businesses out there, the answer is no. It's not something that's top of mind. You're busy building your business. You're busy running your organization. So there are a couple of steps. Number one, continuous compliance assessment. So what does this mean? We have several pieces to our software as a service solution. All it is, it's a little agent that sits within your cybersecurity framework, your servers and your email uh, uh, systems, your email uh, providers. It sits within there and it monitors everything 24-7. We have Cyber Threat TV, which is an educational component for you and your staff. Cyber Benchmark will actually give you a score on where you stand from one day to the next. It can actually be one moment to the next. Where you stand with cybersecurity. You hire new people. They change their passwords. They make it an eight character password. That's a big, big threat. With software today, a 12 year old can break your security passcodes in an instant with software that they can get for free off the internet. It's really, really scary stuff. The other part of our continuous compliance assessment is what we call cyber virtual uh, CISO. And CISO, of course, is a cybersecurity expert, somebody certified in the art of cybersecurity. And uh, we make that available to you throughout the year uh, when you engage with us. Automated controls testing. What we do, we have CyberCheck 24 7 constantly testing your network. So unlike bringing in an auditor from the outside who comes in and looks at your system for two or three days and gives you a little stamp of approval and says you're okay, which is a snapshot in time, the minute that they walk away, things could change. So it's a very ineffective system that's in place right now. What we do is we give you continuous automated controls testing. The cybersecurity guys call it pen testing. What that simply means is penetra penetration testing. Guys from the outside trying to get in to your system, what does it look like? And we provide that 24 hour, 365 day a year solution so that you can put your head on the pillow at night and not have to worry about the bad guys get, or your neighbor's 14 year old getting into your system because they were in your house with their buddy one day and they saw your email and your password on a sticky note stuck to the stuck to the monitor of your laptop or your computer and trust me people are doing that all the time so it's not just somebody in North Korea looking for your uh, for your data or somebody in China looking for your intellectual property it's the neighbor's 14 year old and heaven forbid, it could even be your own son or daughter that's down in the basement. You think they're playing video games, but what they're actually doing is getting their PhD in how to hack your website. And they'll do it innocently just to see if they can do it, and then they can cause chaos and who's at fault there. Cyber catch controls also test uh, measures to assess and detect human error, which can be deliberate, it can be accidental, or innocent. Uh, these are a couple of books that you can go to uh, any bookstore, any chapters, any Kohl's, any bookstore across Canada, the United States. They're available. Instruction manuals on how to hack. So if you have a business, if you're not in the hacking business, trust me, there are millions of people out there that are, consider themselves in the hacking business. They're looking to get access to your servers. They're looking to get access to your data so that they can sell it on the dark web. These are a couple of testimonials. Arjun Graywall, the CEO of Ventus Respiratory, uh, a Canadian manufacturer, defense contractor, uh, quickly and easily uh, implemented the compliance manager that we've set up in partnership with the CIO Strategy Council. John Lake, uh, for those of you here in Timmins and watching online, uh, he's the owner of Porcupine Advanced Printers, uh, a company that's been around since uh, the early 1900s, over 100 years old. Uh, they recognize that as a small supplier to large companies, they don't want to be the weak chain in the link. That is a big, big problem. So if you're watching online and you're one of those large companies, you're going to want to consider 
very strongly consider making it a requirement that your suppliers, right across your entire supply chain, start implementing very serious cybersecurity control measures. And that's exactly what we do. We fill that gap. We do it quickly. We do it easily. Uh, our uh, CISOs, our cybersecurity uh, technical expert team, they have credentials that are, uh, their resumes come from the largest fintech companies in the world. So there's extraordinary, I'll call it cybersecurity horsepower uh, behind our software as a service solution because we provide guidance and we provide assistance in the event that you do have a cyber attack and you need to know what to do. Lastly, one of the questions that I ask is, you know, in the advertising world, they call it customer acquisition costs. How much are you spending to acquire a new customer? Well, in cybersecurity, the question is pretty simple. How much would you invest to protect your entire business from total chaos or even worse, total collapse? And there are all kinds of examples. Go to your Google machine, type in cybersecurity uh, or cyber, uh, cyber attack and just look for the latest news. It's happening every single day, day after day after day. It is happening all around us, and we tend to think that we're immune if we just close our eyes and do what I call the crossed finger theory. Trust me, your banker, your employees, your colleagues, your suppliers are not going to care about your crossed finger theory if it happens to you. They're not going to care. So this is about risk management. It's not an IT decision. This is a business decision. Physical security, all kinds of companies will spend tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars putting up fences and security cameras. And depending on the size of the organization, you might even have you know, on-site security uh, safes so that you can uh, you know, protect uh, sensitive documents. But in the meantime, they might spend $90 on a piece of Norton or McAfee software that they think is their cybersecurity solution. It's not. The bad, that's 1990s style uh, cybersecurity. It just is totally, totally ineffective against the skilled hackers that are out there. So what are they after? They want your banking. They want your financial data. They want your customer contact information because they want to be able to reach out to your customers and pretend to be you. They want your intellectual property. Why? They're going to sell it on the dark web. Somebody's going to buy it, and then somebody's going to resell it as well on the dark web as soon as they find the right customer that wants access to your information. They want your passwords, of course. They want your payroll information. So if you have a payroll system where you're storing social insurance numbers or social security numbers. If you're in the US, they are looking for that kind of information and they can do a lot of damage and we all know about identity theft. They want your system admin access. They want your employee emails. Pretty simple to get because again, they want to sell all of it on the dark web. So again, CyberCatch Canada is the only company in the country, in Canada at the moment, that is fully authorized by the CIO Strategy Council to be able to implement controls in partnership with you and your IT team to be able to protect your business or your organization from a cyber attack. And those attacks are happening right now. There is a better than average chance that the bad guys are already in your system and you don't know it. They're looking for what they want to exploit and they're looking for it on a regular basis. They could be in there for another six months and just decide, okay, six months from now, hey, let's go back and check on this company. Oh yeah, look, look what they've got on their server now. Look at this new data. Hey, somebody just left that company. Here's their letter of resignation. What did they do? Oh, they changed their password on the way out. Now you've got more passwords and backdoors into your system. It's really frightening stuff and it's hard to explain to your employees why they're not going to get paid this week because the bank account's been cleared out by somebody on another, uh, in another country on the other side of the world. So uh, my last be uh, piece of information here really is protect your investment, protect your employees, and let CyberCatch become your cybersecurity partner. That's what we do. Even if you have an IT team, what we do 
our software solution sits there and it gives them 24 hour a day penetration testing. I can give multiple examples of companies that we're working with right now, uh, including Northern College right here in Timmins, uh, Porcupine Advance, a small supplier. We're working with manufacturers. We are working with uh, MSPs that are uh, managed service, service providers for, uh, for companies across the country that have websites. They manage their websites for them. We're working with managed service providers. So it doesn't matter whether you're for-profit nor non-profit, uh, we have a solution that can protect you and again, like I said, allow you to put your head on the pillow at night and, uh, and rest easy that the bad guys are not going, or your neighbor's 14-year-old is not going to get into your system and cause total chaos. So thank you for the opportunity to share this information uh, through uh, the big event here in Timmins, and uh, I will close those remarks off and hand it back over to Steve, and if there's anybody that has any questions, be certainly more than glad to answer those as well. Thank you, Kevin. Again, Kevin's a very well-known face in our community, and uh, uh, I'm quite excited on his behalf that he's working through this particular project. Um,